Hi there, it's Ellie from the Midnight Ocean. I'm going to do my first tutorial, not to mention voiceover tutorial, on blacksmithing. It is 12, it's actually 1 in the morning, and it is quiet hours in the dorms, which is not a good time to do a voice tutorial, but it is break, so there's no one trying to sleep for classes, which I find very fortunate. And a friend of mine just lost a poker, how sad. I've decided to give it up <laughs> after, oh, so many losses. But what I'm going to show you now, or what I'm doing now, is a demonstration of my style of blacksmithing and if my voice sounds funny it's because I got sick off of a Chinese buffet that didn't cook their seafood well enough or tried to and I somehow ended up with a reaction so my voice is probably going to go away. <laughs> I don't want it to. But if it does and I need to end up like speaking really raspy, I'm going to lose it. Because I want to do more tutorials. They're too much fun to do. But anyway, I'm just going through this really quick. Just giving a uh, easy look on how it's done or supposed to be done. Um, I've played Midnight for four years, so I'm sort of new to the concept of making tutorials. So I figured I would help out a Kruby and give her some worth, some advice that's worth it and will hopefully help her achieve more than a pour because pours are overrated and they aren't good for labor but you do what you gotta do you try your best you give it your your all and you see how you do and that is not a good ending to the puzzle. Oh well. Um, what I'm going to do next is go through my moves and let you know why I do it and why I start the way I do. <coughs> um, right now this is an okay board. Lots of ones, lots of twos, hardly any fours. None of these guys or these guys very prominent, so let me get rid of these first. Okay, that's that's a better looking board. So, I'm going to try to get rid of the horses next. And yet save myself from utter complete embarrassment of looking like I know what I'm doing when I don't. Um, right now this looks pretty good. Nothing's really too wrong except for that. Well, there's a four. Um, I'm going to get rid of that right off. Get rid of that four. Get rid of that one. If you want to get rid of a bigger number or something that you feel is going to get in your way, when you're doing the puzzle, feel free to do it. It's not going to hurt. It could hurt, but it shouldn't really hurt that bad. The queens actually do justice in this puzzle. At least for me, they do. Because now I'm starting to get these, these lovely, these lovely pieces. Um, 
give it a shot, see if I can get rid of them. These guys you gotta get rid of too. And it's really worth it when you get rid of them because then it's not such a hassle. And these guys too are a pleasure to get rid of. Okay, now I think I've got a pretty clear situation. Trying to kill the harder pieces first. Okay, now for these guys. Note I'm trying to leave the corner pieces alone because if you don't really leave them alone they're going to come back to haunt you later. Or if you do leave them alone they're going to come back to haunt you later as are fours. And these. So I'm going to probably, yeah, fail. That's not good. Um did worse. Well, blacksmithing can be either your ally or your enemy, so we're going to try this one more time. Give it a shot and see if I can follow what I told my crewmate, which is try to convert your board to all, to all silver before you start killing pieces which is sadly turning out not the way I planned but tutorials are meant to make you learn and make the other person make the person that's watching it learn so I mean there's really nothing wrong with screwing up I guess but it's a fun puzzle addicting that's why I love it Yeah, I'm not even paying attention to my TV in the background. How sad is that? Um, so this will probably be my last puzzle round before I hit the hay. Um, I'm just going through this pretty quick. But note that I'm not really eliminating my corner pieces until I need them the most. Otherwise, I'm just working on killing all these while I can. It's harder to do when you're getting ready to sleep, but usually it's a good behaving puzzle. <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't stink as much as uh, distilling does. I will not touch distilling unless I absolutely have to, unless somebody absolutely requests a tutorial. I'm not going to understand. I'm not going to be able to do it well. I'm not going to be able to understand it. <laughs> it's just, it's just not my puzzle just not something I've been able to grasp. And this is looking a lot better than I thought it would look. Um, we're going to give this a shot. See if I can leave. Okay, that is how you, sh how you should finish a puzzle. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, just by observation. If not, just give me tips on how to improve upon my tutorials. Um, rate, subscribe for more Puzzle Pirates tutorials if I plan to do those. Um, thanks for watching and have a good night. This is Ellie Mae signing out.